Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the University of Central Lancashire, I'm delighted to warmly welcome you to Preston Guildhall and to this graduation ceremony. On this special day, we are here to proudly celebrate the achievements of our students from the Faculty of Science and Technology. I now call upon the Vice-Chancellor, Professor Mike Thomas, to give his address. Good morning, everyone. Um, before I start my speech, I notice and I can hear some babies and infants, small children in the audience. Please don't be embarrassed if they make any noise or they cry or they want to run about. We enjoy that noise. They're our future students. If they make any noise, please don't feel you have to walk out the auditorium. Make them make as much noise as they want. <coughs> Honoured guests, ladies and gentlemen, members of the university board, honorary fellows, and our graduates. It's a great pleasure to welcome you to this graduation ceremony at which we acknowledge and celebrate the achievements of our new graduates. I always look forward to graduation ceremonies and the chance for the university, its staff, board members, honorary fellows and honored guests to celebrate such an important day for you, our graduates, your families and your friends. This is your day. I hope you enjoy both the ceremony itself and the celebrations which I know will continue afterwards. It's customary for a vice chancellor to use graduation as an opportunity to comment on economic affairs or politics or to speak about the university in general. But with your patience and forbearance, I wish to direct my own words at our graduates. You spent the past few years studying for your awards during what is undoubtedly one of the most uncertain and somewhat turbulent periods of social history. We appear to live in an age where opinion carries more weight than fact, where contradiction is seen as reasonableness, where opposing argument is seen as personal opposition, and where falsehoods and fake news are plausible versions of a phenomena, where truth can be manipulated and made elastic stretched to its very limits. But I take an opt optimistic view because I see you all graduate today. You would have trained your intellect to be alert and resilient in this uncertain age. I hope as you continue your careers that you will continue to apply your reasoning to achieve two things, to always be committed to uncover and shine a light on truth using evidence and analysis. And secondly, to apply evidence-based evidence methodologies on falsehoods, manipulations of facts, and unfounded opinions that harm our society. You are our main reason for existing as an organization. The university and its staff are wholly committed to ensuring that you have the relevant learning, knowledge, skills, and resources to broaden your intellectual horizon, your tolerance of other people, and your passion to support your community. The School of Forensic and Applied Sciences is immensely proud of you. You're all people who are passionate about wanting to make a difference, and you will go on to make a difference, serving local communities and the wider public. Some of you will go on to be forensic scientists, archaeologists, geographers, environmental managers, police officers, crime scene investigators. We look to you to ensure there is justice for victims. We look to you to protect the public, the environment, and our heritage. I would argue that one should never underestimate the experiences you have in your university life and the way it shapes your thinking and now influences your future. Your university has a long history of transforming lives, 
It was first established on the 7th of October, 1828, here in Preston, as the Institute for the Diffusion of Knowledge. And so this year, as you graduate, your university celebrates its 190th birthday. The original group that formed what became the University of Central Lancashire were radical in their thinking about education, learning, and innovation. And we recognize that in today's world, we have a duty to continue that original mission and spirit of radicalism, to be innovative, to implement creative thinking, and help you to be more equipped and resilient in your lives. But our success is achieved together, staff and students, seeking new knowledge and clarity and certainty. And in this period, there are certain things we know about you. We know, for instance, that you are graduates and postgraduates. We certainly know you've worked for your award. There's a sense of certainty, too, if you hold on to those beliefs and values that promote and support your communities, the principles and approaches that we value in the university. For instance, common sense, the judgment to do the right thing for others, compassion to treat others with consideration, care, and honesty, teamwork to think and act together, valuing collective as highly as individual achievements, attentiveness to take personal and professional pride in the quality of your work, but show that you can listen and care for others as you do that work. And finally, trust, showing re respect and integrity in everything that you do. I hope we provided a space for you to discuss ideas, to pursue different views and perspectives, and explore new ways of doing things, and seek new solutions. So take your university values with you as you go on with your life. We know other things about you. We've tested you, we've assessed you. We know you have the ability to understand complex issues. We know you can be critical in making judgments. We know you have the confidence to challenge. We know you can impact on the status quo. We know you've developed a value for civil society and a willingness to make a personal contribution to its functions. So keep watching and looking and listening, observe, analyze, devise new solutions, keep learning, keep exercising your intellect, and be ready to intervene. Don't be afraid or unwilling to try new things, but equally, be ready to compromise when you need to. We look to you today. You are our future hope. Participate in processes and debates, in organizations, in businesses and commerce, and seek to make a difference. We know something else about you today. We know that gaining the awards you have earned and which we celebrate is difficult. That must be so. We make no apologies for that. Few things in life of genuine value are easy to gain, and success in any university is far from easy. The university would have demanded from you dedication, commitment, intellectual endeavor, and hard work. I'm sure that many of you here in the audience today families, friends, and colleagues would have been called upon to provide a helping hand in that journey. So on behalf of you, our graduates, I would like to thank you for that invaluable support and ask that our graduates join me in sharing our appreciation to you. Universities are strange beasts. We're simultaneously a public sector, a commercial company, and a charity. And here in the University of Central Lancashire, we incorporate those three aspects by focusing on you, our students. The university has formed an academic community, formed of people who dedicate their lives to learning and supporting transformation you would have been taught by a dedicated group of academic staff, many of whom are international leaders in their field, and all of whom devote their professional lives to the teaching and development of their subjects. And you would have been supported by many highly dedicated professional staff members who provided the services and infrastructure that made your success possible. So on your behalf, I would like to thank every one of our staff and ask once again that you join me in applauding them.
In a few minutes, the names of our graduates will be called out and we will applaud and cheer. Please make as much noise as you want. This is a celebratory ceremony. Do it now if you want. <laughs> Each of you in front of me will enter on the stage right as graduates, postgraduates. You'll cross the stage, you'll shake my hand in the middle, I will congratulate you. You'll exit state, stage left as graduates and postgraduates. We do this to publicly acknowledge your individual achievements and to congratulate you personally. But I know everybody in the hall will be as enthusiastic with our applause for the first graduate as we will be for our final graduate. We take genuine pride in your achievement. I'm confident that you'll go out in the world and bring not only real social and economic benefit to yourself, but also to the communities where you will live. Whatever you decide to do next, wherever in the world you find yourself, you'll always be a member of this university. I hope at some stage you will return to your academic home. But for now, on behalf of everybody here, very well done, congratulations, and good luck for a happy and successful life. Thank you. The presentation of the graduands and award holders will now take place. Vice-Chancellor, on behalf of the Academic Board, I present those who have gained awards in the School of Forensic and Applied Sciences. For a thesis entitled, Pictures for Schools, Art, Education and Reconstruction in Post-War Britain, the degree of Doctor of Philosophy is awarded to Natalie Bradbury, For a thesis entitled The Characterization of Linearized Esculentum to EM Geiger and Fur 4 at varying pH and in differing lipid environments. The degree of Doctor of Philosophy is awarded to Eram Eram. For a thesis entitled, Incidents and Potential Benefits of Epichloe in UK Turfgrass, Evidence of Latisaria fusiformis Suppression in Perennial Ryegrass, the degree of Doctor of Philosophy is awarded to Jonathan Nicholas Knowles.
for a thesis entitled A Mitochondrial DNA and YSTR Study of the Iraqi Population. The degree of Doctor of Philosophy is awarded to Haider H. Lazim. For a thesis entitled, Management of Environmental Issues in the Nigerian Oil Producing Region, a framework for stakeholders' collaboration. The degree of Doctor of Philosophy is awarded to Favor Makochu Orji. For a thesis entitled, Protecting Vulnerable People, an exploration of the risk factors and processes with Lancashire's multi-agency safeguarding hubs, or MASH. The degree of Doctor of Philosophy is awarded to Sarah Louise Shorrock. Master of Science by Research, Pauline Thomas. Sarah Elizabeth Townsend. Master of Science in Archaeology, Louise Clemson. Bethany Rebecca Dawson. Adero Harris. Joseph George Howarth. Daniel Gerald Lewis. Jessica Tarran. James Ward. Grant Gardner. Master of Science in Counterterrorism, Hamid Holloway. Master of Science in Cybercrime Investigation, Charlotte Jade Bodle. <laughs> Falak Niaz. <laughs> Master of Science in Energy and Environmental Management. Andrew William Adam Gullick. <laughs> Master of Science in Financial Investigation, Helen Cosgrove. <laughs> Master of Science in Forensic Anthropology, Tanya Teresa Williams.
Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Geography, Danielle Berry. Jonathan Peter Causey. <laughs> Brittany Clark. <laughs> Billy Lawson. <laughs> Finn Mulholland. Bachelor of Science with Honours in Archaeology, Arnold Khalifi. <laughs> with the school prize for the best student and best dissertation in archaeology and anthropology, Michael Lawler. Jean Lisa Murray, <laughs> Bachelor of Science with Honours in Archaeology and Anthropology, Asha Carsmith, <laughs> Cameron Cleaver. Jessica Riley. <laughs> Bachelor of Science with Honours in Environmental Management. Nasser Mohammed T.S. Al Mansouri. <laughs> Emily Davies. Nathan Davies. <laughs> Mia Molander. <laughs> With the school prize for best dissertation in geography and environmental management, Joseph Wood. Bachelor of Science with Honours in Forensic Science, Minhaz Abdul Adam. <laughs> Enoch Adewale. <laughs> Harmi Seyman Kamian. With the school prize for best forensic science dissertation, Yun Choi. <laughs> Dion Collinson. <laughs> Oliver G. Rebecca Louise Heaton. <laughs> Alexander, Alexandra Hithkus. <laughs> Jane Hobley. <laughs> Chowdhury Fareha Jana. Yulia Kehayova. <laughs> Sinying Stephanie Kwok. <laughs> Ahmed Manabraya. <laughs> David Moss. Lauren Richardson.
Pauline Rogers. <laughs> Eleanor Spears. <laughs> Arsalan Tariq. <laughs> Jester Alcathe Abadaldo. Robin Verheyen. <laughs> Georgia Watson. <laughs> Bachelor of Science with Honours in Forensic Science and Anthropology. With the Chartered Society of Forensic Sciences Accredited Course Award, for outstanding leadership in student engagement. Thomas Ash. <laughs> Rebecca Barnard. <laughs> Kyle Bennett. Paige Georgina Blantern. <laughs> Ella Joanne Blood. <laughs> Haley Louise, Victoria Emily, Alice Jean Clark. <laughs> Danielle Megan Clark. Abby Gallagher. <laughs> Lucas Gentle. <laughs> Adam Hitchmuff. Zoe Horton. Sarah Hughes. Rebecca Jackson. Emma Lewin. Heather McPartlin. <laughs> Rihanna Faye Morgan. <laughs> Hannah Emma Powell. <laughs> Adele Pulford. Hannah Rose. <laughs> Shivani Saini. <laughs> Georgia Louise Sims. <laughs> Chloe Skelton. Danielle Elizabeth Thompson Green. <laughs> Catherine Sean Turner. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Forensic Science and Anthropology, Hannah Wilkinson. Bachelor of Science with Honours in Forensic Science and Criminal Investigation. Elizabeth Anastasio. <laughs> Jonathan Baker. <laughs> Ray
Lindsay June Bretherton. Darren Brooks. Freya Buckley. Amy Louise Carr. Alex Clark. Kirsty Davies. Ryan Flaherty. Paula Franchak. Alexandria Jessica Gallagher. Nikki Louise Goldfinch. Charlotte Ann Greenwood. <laughs> Megan Hempsey. <laughs> Sophie Ellen Hunt. <laughs> Star Jeffers. George Johnson. <laughs> Shannon Louise Johnson. <laughs> Bethany Kigan. <laughs> Rachel Lee. Harley Jane Lowe. <laughs> Thurga Devi M. Claire Maloney. <laughs> Bethany Jade Matthews. with the Lancashire Forensic Science Academy Prize for Excellence in Research and Innovation, and the School Prize for the Best Forensic Science Student, Christina Mavrangaledou. <laughs> Deanna McCombie. Michaela Sophie Annie Mills. <laughs> Leanne Parks. <laughs> Jessica Poots. Lukshaw Prem Kumar. <laughs> Rebecca Ramsey. <laughs> Maximilian Robinson. <laughs> Melissa Sampson. Rachel Ann Smith. Georgia Ruth Thomas. Chelsea Titley. Laura Jane Wilde. Bethany Grace Wiles. <laughs> Jane
Jade Lauren Wilkin. Bethany Wilson. Kimberly Wilson. Bachelor of Science in Forensic Science and Criminal Investigation, Sophie Louise Cain. <laughs> Bachelor of Science with Honours in Geography. With the school prize for the best student in Geography and Environmental Management, Ryan David Evans. Andre Forrester. Jordan Mark Hemingway. Reese Jones. Abigail Gemma Robbins. Laura Christine Spillers. <laughs> Bachelor of Science with Honours in Policing and Criminal Investigation. Adadapo Oluwatalamehan Adiyemo. <laughs> Daniel Atkinson. Samuel George Atkinson. <laughs> Sally Eidogan. <laughs> Thanafon Baranik. <laughs> Charlotte Elizabeth Rose Baton. Georgia Bevan. Samuel Bray. Lily Brown. Reese Brown. Kerry Burrow. Courtney Campbell. Charlotte Carlos Smith. Zoe Rebecca Carroll. Josh Kishore Chauhan. Jonathan Chidgy. Alex Christodolo. Ben Clibben. Harriet Cole. With the school prize for best dissertation in policing. Sophia Elizabeth Grace Crawshay. <laughs> Macaulay Cubbins. <laughs> Alice Dactler Wood. <laughs> Hannah Dolan. Jamie Lee Evans. Matthew Paul Fawcett. With the school prize for best student in policing. 
Melissa Fletcher. Samantha Griffiths. Olivia Halpin. Nathan Harrop. Chloe Ella Hart. David Sander Hegedus. Ben Hibbard. Rebecca Hutton. Mohammed Ishak. Jessica Rose Johnson. Tara Louise Johnson. Amy Jones. Jordan Diana Jones. Paul Jobson. Sarah Kelsey. Zach Lam. Craig Maddox. Oliver Lee Maddox. Damon Martin. Nicole McColgan. Daniel McAvoy. Kate Olivia Mary McMullen. Lima McPike. William Moody. Isaac Moutre. Thomas James Nicklin. Sean Noblet. Jack Norris. Gail Angelique Emmanuel Parmentier. Thomas Paskin. Abigail Louise Phillips. Matthew Powell. Adam Harry Rigby. Chloe Rogers. Neil Rowe. Sophie Rowlandson. Nicola Seddon. Jordan Sheldon. Matthew Smith. Rebecca Southern. Sasha Orian Stelakis.
David Andrew Talbot. Andrew Thorns. Joseph Aaron Tilling. Joshua Tinsley. Konstantinos Chidas. Alexandra Louise Turner. Connor James Whelan. Ellen Louise Winnie. Matthew John Wilkinson. Thomas Harvey Williamson. Levi Jennifer Woods. Ellis Warden. Nathan Worrell. Rebecca Donachy. Kyle James Taylor. Elizabeth Caradwen Morrow. Rachel Claire Watchorn. Suzanne Holly Wright. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Policing and Criminal Investigation. Ayu Gohad. <laughs> Foundation Degree in Policing. Hassan Abdul. Amjad Ali. Ellis Almond. Jasmine Bolton. Connor Brook. Bradley Vincent Kakosa. Maeve Elizabeth Deary. Edward Dorrington. Joshua Kane Errington. Callan John, George Foster. Thomas Dean Fox. Alice Hewson. Noah James Igo. Dean Iverson. Callum Jones. Kyle Jones. Tanya Kelly. Adisa Kuser. Emma Lynn. <laughs> Jacob Mangum. <laughs> Jordan McCoo. <laughs> Vic
Victoria Moss. Liam Nobbs. Hannah O'Donoghue. Alexander Papa. Connor Puffett. Aaron Rawlinson White. Millie Renton. Chloe Joanne Riley. Sarah Rusnak. Declan Ride. Holly Joy White. Brandon Luke Allen Whitfield. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Music Production. Lebohang Mafik. <laughs> Bachelor of Science with Honours in Forensic Science. Jamie Maudsley. Vice Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of awards from the School of Forensic and Applied Sciences. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, the presentations are completed. I call on Lily Green, Vice President Welfare from the Students' Union of the University of Central Lancashire, to respond on behalf of those awarded today. Vice Chancellor, graduates, families, friends, and loved ones, it is my honour to stand here before you today and speak on behalf of students. Firstly, I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate you all on this incredible achievement. Getting to this moment is not easy. It is no doubt a result of your dedication, hard work, sacrifice, and so you should all be incredibly proud of yourselves. However, it's important to remember that university is more than the assignments and the exams. It's more than the ever-increasing price paid to better your future, and it's more than the piece of paper that you're about to get. Because university is an unforgettable experience. The people that you've met and the memories that you've created together make each of your journeys to graduation unique and special. You may have joined a sports team, found friends for life in a student society, or led a volunteering project that you felt truly passionate about. You may have been a representative yourself or led campaigns to help create meaningful change for students on your own campus and make other students' lives better. Whatever it was, it helped to mould you into the graduates that I see before me today. As graduates of UCLan, every single one of you strengthened this university's worldwide alumni network. And this award today is just a landmark in your personal and professional development and just a stepping stone to your future success. They say that you are the leaders of tomorrow, but quite frankly, I know that many of you are leaders here and now. So do not wait for the opportunities and the experiences to find you. It's important to seek them out and make the absolute best of the strong foundations that you've laid here, starting with your degree. I understand that the graduate world at this moment as well is a bit intimidating. You might feel like you're heading towards a place of uncertainty and just know that that's okay, that's completely fine. No one has it completely worked out and life has a way of changing your plans even if you think you do. Just remember to have compassion for yourselves and others, that there's no such thing as perfection, and that life is not a race. 
and that you, and only you, have the power to dictate your life. The most important thing to do is to remember that you've made it this far, and there's no stopping you now. So last but not least, I'd like to thank the families, friends, loved ones, union staff, and university staff that have joined you here today and supported you throughout your Yukon journey. I wish you all the best for the future, class of 2018, and your students' union hopes to see you again soon. to introduce the University of Lanc Central Lancashire Chamber Choir. The members of the University Chamber Choir are all students of the music theatre within the School of Journalism, Media and Performance. The choir is directed by the university's musician in residence, Mark Goggins. The university is extremely proud of the growing reputation and success of the Chamber Choir. In recent years, the Chamber Choir has won national competitions, including the BBC Radio 3 Adult Choir of the Year. The Chamber Choir has performed on BBC One, BBC Four, and on BBC Radio 3, as well as at some major performance venues, including the Royal Festival Hall, Birmingham Symphony Hall and the Bridgewater Hall. In June, the Chamber Choir returned from their latest overseas concert tour, which once again received great critical acclaim. This morning, the Chamber Choir will sing What a Wonderful World by George Weiss.
Today is, of course, a day of great celebration for everyone here. And we need to celebrate in an appropriate way. Family and friends, there's a good photo opportunity coming up. You might like to get your cameras out ready. Could I please ask all the graduates to stand and take off your mortarboards, <laughs> which will be a great relief as some of them uh, have been balancing on your heads in a rather precarious manner. <laughs> in a moment, I'm going to ask you to wave your mortarboard. And as is the tradition at UCLan, you must wave as vigorously as you can in recognition of all your hard work and achievements. However, do keep a tight hold on your mortarboard as it is now yours to keep and take home. <laughs> right? So, on the count of three, I want you to wave your mortarboards in the air and give a hearty cheer. And at the same time, we will all give you a further three cheers. One, two, three. <laughs> sit down. <laughs> As we bring this ceremony to a close, I would like to thank everyone who has been involved in making today such a happy and memorable occasion. And thank you all for coming and for sharing this special day with the university community. I would like to invite you all to return to a reception at the university's Foster Building, where we will continue to celebrate the success of today's graduates. Gowns can also be left at the Foster Building after the event. Please may I ask you all now to stand for the National Anthem. Please be seated. The platform party will now leave the stage and form a celebratory guard of honour. We are going to conclude the ceremony with a final opportunity to applaud the success of today's graduates. Graduates, you will be shortly processing out of the hall. A university usher will prompt your row when you need to stand up. Please make sure you take all your belongings with you. Guests, may I ask that you rem all remain seated until the platform party has left the hall. You'll be able to rejoin your graduate downstairs. 
Thank you.